<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be continuing our Five Nights at Freddy's free roam uh, tutorial series. Now, uh, today we are going to be making interacting with objects, right? So, um, I'm going to just start out. So, in our third person character, we want to... Um, under this, uh, we want to comment this, let's comment this, okay? So I'm gonna select all of this and press C on my keyboard, okay? You have to uh, select uh, all of this and press C on your keyboard. I'm going to call this Sprinting. Over here, I'm gonna also select this and press C and I'm gonna go Crouching. Now, under this, I'm going to add uh, Interact. So, um, we are going to just leave this blank for now, uh, but, um, yeah, so uh, first of all I want to make a new level, so go to file, new level, and we are going to make a default, okay, save, select it. Now, um, over here we can see we can play, but uh, I'm, first of all, uh, what I want to do is to uh, go to our content and make a new folder uh, and call this uh, custom content. So this is going to be everything we create, okay? Not from the start of content. So what we want to do is create a door, okay? Um, a button and a door. Now, um, I'm going to uh, make a new folder and call this Blueprints. Now, um, I'm going to make a new Blueprint class. Uh, make this an actor, which means it, uh, it's just placed in the level. And uh, I'm going to call this door underscore, underscore Blueprint. Now, uh, you can see if we place it, it's just a blue, like, it's a, just a circle, right? So, uh, what we want to do is actually open up the door, yeah. So, um, <coughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is make a cube. This is going to be our door. I'm going to call this door. I'm going to scale this down so it looks more like a FNAF door. Like this. I'm going to move this up, maybe. Um, no, it's, it's fine, I guess. No, I'm just going to leave it like this. So what we want to add next is a button. Uh, no, not a button, I'm stupid. Another cube. Uh, this is going to be over here. I'm going to make this smaller. But I'm going to call this button. Button. So uh, right now we can make the door a different material if you want to. So over here we've got materials. I'm going to make it metal. Now, if you didn't, if you didn't uh, import um, starter content, this will not show up. But I'm going to show you soon uh, how to import your own textures, okay? So, um, I'm going to, for now, I'm going to use steel, okay? This is how you choose materials. And the button, I'm going to make this red. Uh, never mind, I'm going to make a new material for the button, so it's red. So, I'm going to go back to our custom content. I'm going to right click and make a new folder, right? This is going to be called materials. Now uh, in this folder we are going to right click and make a new material. And we are going to call this button underscore map, like material. Now I'm going to double click this and open this. Now uh, this is our like uh, material editing graph. Um, what we want to do is make it red, okay? So I'm going to use a constant tree vector. 
drag this over here and we can see this is three values red green blue now I'm, I'm going to double click this and this is going to open up a color picker I'm going to drag this over to red uh, make it like a nice dark red I'm going to press OK and I'm going to drag this into our base color and I'm going to click apply so this created a red material for our button now I'm going to save I'm going to close this down and I'm going to click on our button and red uh, button material yes now we have a button that's red so uh, I'm going to compile and save and now if we go to our custom content and our blueprints and drag our door here you can see we've got a door kind of cool right and if you press play we've got a door now of course we can't do anything with it just yet but we're gonna do that uh, right now so uh, first of all let's go to our third person character right now um, uh, from here what we want to do is uh, create a line from where we are looking in the center right to check if we are looking at the button so we're going to uh, trace Ray trace. No, wait, I'm stupid. Uh, line trace, yes. Okay, line trace for objects. Now, uh, this may look complicated, but uh, this just creates a line between the start and the end. This is the coordinates of the start, this is the coordinates of the end. Now, um, we're gonna just leave this here, and what we want to do is drag out of our object types and make array now the object types is um, specifying what type of objects should we check for right we want to check for a button uh, so uh, which is going to be uh, worlds uh, is going to be dynamic but for yeah just let's, let's just add worlds dynamic world static yeah, uh, I'm going to remove this and we sh it should work like this. Okay, we're going to compile and save. Um, oops. Uh, and now uh, I'm going to from start. Okay, so um, the starting point should be our camera, right? And the end point should be like somewhere here. So we're going to drag out our follow camera get actor location no um i'm stupid get world location going to yeah, like this and drag this over here now this is our start uh what we want to do is uh, drag get our forward vector so get forward vector now this is the direction you can see from the description this is the direction uh, the camera is facing right so um, what we need is to multiply this by float by just like 1000 and plus uh, uh, add these two values together now this should work I think so basically we have our location of the camera which is the start of the line and the end is um, our location plus the direction we are looking plus 10,000 plus 1,000 so it's uh, long it's not just zero one unit long right so we have to see the line okay so we are going to choose for duration now if you press play and press E you can see it works perfectly we interact oops my bad we interact and uh, in the center of our screen there is the dot okay which interacts now you can make this however long i made it 1000 which may be a little little too much 
So I'm going to change this to like 400. Um, yeah, this is this is enough. Uh, maybe 300. Yeah, this is this is okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm do that. We have fifty, okay? So uh, now um, we've got our result of the this out hit is our result of the line trace. What we want to do is uh, break it, break it into all of the values we get, okay? So what uh, interests us is a hit actor, right? Um, so we are going to check our at our hit actor and what we want to know if this is a door, right? So uh, we are going to get class. Now this gets the class, the type of our actor. So in this case, it's going to return door blueprint. So now what we will have to do is if it is equal to um, door blueprint. This is one way. Uh, we can also cast. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm going to just use this. So if um, you can uh, drag out and cast to door. Now, uh, if this actually is a door that we hit, it's going to return this way. If it's not a door, it's going to go this way. So, um, if it is, the, is a door, we want to get um, button. This. Now, the reason we want this is we want to check if the component we hit is a button. So we're going to if this is equal. Now, uh, I'm going to. You can hold Control and drag it with the left mouse button over here. And now we are just checking if this is a button. Uh, we are going to drag out of our result here. And we're going to type a branch, okay? Connect it like this. Now this will check if our component that we hit, if our actor that we hit is the door, and if the component we hit is the button. So if we hit the button, this is going to be true. If not, this is going to be false. So if this is true, uh, we will open the door. For now, we are going to just print string. Hello. Now I'm going to press play. And you can see if we interact with the button, it's going to say hello. If we interact with the door, it's not going to say hello. And it works perfectly. So uh, what we want to uh, do. Um, how long is it? Okay, yeah, we can still go on. So um, uh, next thing we want to do is go to our door blueprint, okay, and to our event graph. So uh, right now uh, we're going to right click and make a custom event. Okay, this is going to be open door. Now. Um, this is going to be uh, a custom event that we can call like this. You see, so we can uh, call it as many times as we want without uh, without co copy pasting it, right? So, uh, what we want to do is um, grab our door, and for now we're going to toggle toggle visibility. Um, this is just for testing, okay? Uh, after that, we're gonna add actual, like opening and closing, okay? Okay, so yeah. So um, yeah, um, we're going. To, we're going to. We are going back to a third person character, and from over here, we can now open door. So let me just uh, 
let me just uh, make it clear what we did today. So if we interact with our uh, E button on our keyboard, we're going to get our location of our camera, this camera right here. Uh, we're going to get our forward vector, which means our direction in which it is facing. We want to multiply this direction by 350. Be more, that's up to you. Um, we can multiply this, uh, which means it's uh, going to move it up. Um, by uh, the amount we multiply it by and that then we want to add it to our location so we have like a part um, yeah it basically just creates the line okay and then we create the line and yeah that's pretty much it now we get our result of the line get our actor we hit with the line and if it is the door we just create it uh, it's going to go this way if not it's going to go here and do nothing if it is the door we want to check if the component is the button right so if it also is the button uh, which we can get right here it will open the door and the target is going to be the cast to door blueprint so um, if we press play now you can see we are opening and closing the door we cannot go through just yet but this will be something for the next part so thank you all for